we'll start out with this baby blanket from the Dollar Tree. And oh yeah, I got kids fashion nails on. I have small hands. And this is a viewer request to make a robe out of the baby blanket. And thanks so much to those of you who have purchased my patterns on Etsy. I can sew an outfit in about 30 minutes. But the video process takes many days and the pattern sales are a welcome compensation for my time and I thank you so much. Recently I put together a bundle pattern of my basic patterns and made capsule wardrobe videos. I will continue to use all of the bundle patterns in future videos and I'll occasionally slip in uh, freebies and standalone patterns. And you see me make this top many times. For the robe, I lengthened the pattern. And then I sewed about a fourth of an inch away from the pencil line rather than sewing directly on the pencil line. That's give you more room to wear pajamas underneath. You can leave the robe short sleeved or you can add the sleeve extensions. I'm sure you've noticed that I avoid set-in sleeves on dolls. But I do have a more detailed video on how to add these sleeve extensions, and I will link that in the description. Next, I want to binding or the facing onto the front of the robe and around the neck. So I've just cut a strip of fabric, and I'll be sewing wrong side to wrong side so that it will fold over and you'll see the right side. And make sure you clip those curves so that it'll lie flat. And you'll see in a later video clip that I did top stitch the very edge of the binding so that the child won't have to be fussing with it. Now let's make the belt. I took another strip of fabric and folded it two times. And I love to work with fleece because there's no fraying. Then I did a little top stitch. I'm going to take this little baby hand towel and use it as an applique. So I cut the, the panda head part of the towel, folded it in. I cut another rectangle to use as the hood. I folded it in half and then sewed down the back of the rectangle. Then you put it on the doll's head and tuck it into the robe to make sure you have enough fabric. And then I'll place the little ready-made applique on the top of the hood and hem around the front of the hood. And here's my cutie patootie robe. I did hand stitch the hood to the robe. I'm sure some of you often wonder if I'm a beginning sewer, but I'm actually very advanced. And here's a few of my freehand appliques. I use my sewing machine to draw on fabric. I drop the feed dog and I do free motion sewing. My favorite thing to do are the little characters. Uh, here's our Christmas stockings. I do the free motion on birthday cards and on my hot shot polka dot that you see at the beginning of each video. Okay, now for the pajama bottoms. I used my pants pattern. I cut it down the middle and widened it this way because I did not want the crotch area widened by making a larger seam, if that makes sense. And then I proceeded to sew the curves of the pants. I did make the hem while it was flat. And then I sewed the inseam. I'm using a ribbon, a very narrow ribbon, as the trim for the pajamas and as the drawstring for the pajama bottoms. And you just make a little casing to thread that ribbon through. And you're making a tiny, tiny little hem. And I hand stitched the trim and caught that 
folded hem as I sewed by hand. I added a few little buttons in the front and I just put the trim on one side because when you button you won't need it on the other side. So I've just used the top and the pants to make this little pajama set and robe and now I'm going to make some really cute little slippers. I found the panda dog toys at the Dollar Tree and they matched the hood on the robe. I held it up to my doll's foot and I will have to trim quite a bit from the back. I opened up the black part of the toy and then took a few little stitches to hold those seams together. And you see me folding up a hem and the heel part of the slippers and I'm sliding it on the doll's foot to see how much I will have to so, so that it'll stay on. And the head of the panda is pretty big, but you could take the stuffing out to make it smaller or just leave it as is. And you see me folding over the back of the slippers and I'm gonna make some hand stitches there. And I will sew a few little stitches to hold the head onto the top of the slipper.